Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Carts here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys this uh, big block head just finished. Um, also, I don't know if you guys caught that last video of that uh, Hemi head build that I just completed. That's pretty nice. Um, but this head is for uh, Walt Morrison. And uh, it's, got, it's kind of that uh, pun. Um, this is actually going on uh, his water pump. And... <laughs> It's kind of funny to me because a lot of time guys ask me what I do for a living and I say, hey, I build racing water pumps. You know, and uh, this is actually going on a water pump. So we had a couple of requirements. Uh, I was using a, uh, basically a stock size carb, uh, stock exhaust, and uh, he wanted the engine to be able to run gas, uh, run cool, but, uh, and he wanted a, a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio. And he just really wanted that uh, engine optimized as much as it could be under those uh, parameters. So, uh, you know, it's it's, ne it's not going to be a high revving engine. Um, it's going to be, you know, probably never over 5,000 RPMs max. So, uh, you know, basically when I hear that, I just think of like a torque engine and I want to put all the compression ratio in the world that I can into that engine um, he you know we we I ran all the numbers he gave me his bore his stroke his carb size this that the other thing uh, his lifts his duration and did all the numbers and stuff like that came up with a flow number I wanted to hit for the port um, and then you know came up with a compression ratio ran that by him because he had said he didn't want to go over 10.5 and I said, all right, you know, we could stop at 10.5. So uh, ended up doing a little bit bigger valve relief than normal for this size valve, which is great because that just untrousers the valve even more. And then milled it a little bit more um, just to give the, the chamber a little bit more optimal of a shape. Um, and we, we were able, um, you know, I probably wouldn't have had to mill so much if I had left it a little bit more shrouded. Uh, so I ended up untrouding the valve a little bit more and then just taking it off. Since we're not running super high lift, you know, piston valve clearance isn't going to be an issue with this engine. So, uh, you know, after doing all the math, this is probably the best that we can get. Um, you know, put in the bigger valves, 38, 34, um, just so there's no restriction in the valve. Um, and uh, bronze guides, uh, ported the head. Multi-angle valve job, uh, you know, and shroud of the chamber, polished chamber, uh, mill down the head. So I'll give you guys a look at the ports and stuff like that, and you can uh, check them out, see what you think. So this is uh, Walt Morrison's head. Um, take a look inside the port. That's the intake port. Uh, left it a rough finish. Um, usually I'll do an epoxy, <clears throat> but, uh, if I don't do the epoxy, I'm definitely going to leave it a rough finish. Uh, this is a, a new type of finish I'm, I'm using. I got some, uh, new stuff. And then we got, we got the bronze guides in there. Bronze guides always look pretty. And then we'll show you the, uh, exhaust port. Pretty shiny. Domed. Domed uh, guide in the uh, exhaust and uh, tapered point in the intake. So that's pretty much like a mirror in there. You know, you can just go crazy with polishing. I mean, you know, you bring it to a mirror and then you're kind of nitpicking the level of the mirror. <laughs> So, I mean, even the, the chamber, you know, is a mare shine. You know, I could probably see my face in there. You could probably see the camera. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, you could see the angles on the seats. And then you got that full radius. Here's a look down the port this way. You know, a nice tall port, so you basically like uh, almost, you know, giving it a better port angle by, uh, you know, making that port nice and tall. Man, 
And uh, yeah, and then we just, <clears throat> he said he wanted 10.5. So I milled a chunk off of it. <clears throat> I milled like uh, 50 thou off. Did the uh, CC the head. And then I said, you know what? Uh, we'll unshroud the valve a little bit more. Then I re-CC'd the head. And then after I unshrouded the valve till I was happy that they were 100% unshrouded, that's when I took it down um, to the final mill to get it to 10.5 uh, compression ratio. So uh, this is a big block GX390 head. Um, this is a little GX390 clone style head. And uh, this is Walt Morrison's build. And uh, Walt, I uh, appreciate it, as always. Uh, uh, you guys, uh, customers out there have been great to me. I appreciate that. Uh, and I always just try to give you guys the best product every time. So uh, if you guys have any, uh, you know, any projects or questions or anything like that, uh, you can leave them down in the comments. So you can uh, email me at paulscarts at gmail.com. That's carts with a K. Or uh, you can check out the website, paulscarts.com. And from there, there's a contact us section. You can uh, email me through that way. Or you can send me a text message at 781-492-7358 for any builds or build questions or stuff like that or product information from the site. Um, oh, you know... If you guys are placing an order and not really sure, one great thing is uh, if you text me, I'm pretty easy to get in touch with. A lot of companies, they just aren't. Um, you know, and, and that doesn't really make sense because, you know, most other companies are like huge companies with multiple employees and they came and answer the phone. You know, I'm like one guy. I don't know how, but I'm always answering the phone, always getting all the work done, always doing all the shipping, making all the shipments to the ship and, you know guy just grabbed a carb and said I need this overnighted you know I made the carb that day brought it to FedEx the next day and shipped it out for him to get it there at noon the next day I mean you know uh, I don't know they can have so many employees and not be able to you know answer a phone or return an email but um, yeah that's enough of that little ramble about other companies but um, check out paulscarts.com uh, this head and more available on the site. Uh, and uh, until next time, guys, Paul to Paul's Carts, have a nice day.